Hey guys, Todd here with RC Ohio. Uh, I just wanted to share a little update um, with the 5, 5B, low C 5B. Um, today is a real nice day here, so uh, I had the opportunity to finish my break in and do a little test and tuning. Um, something I neglected to talk about before is I was having a little bit of a clutch issue and really pretty much the reason I'm making this this video is just in case anybody else ever runs into this. Um, obviously the clutch came with the Zenoa uh, G320 RC and um, I installed it properly. Uh, the, the clutch uh, back plate, um, I pressed it all the way on with the bolt. Um, I pushed it on as far as you could possibly get it I didn't want to really get rough with it. Um, didn't want to, I, yeah, I mean, the last thing you want to do is, is strip the crank. So, uh, so I got that pushed on there good and hard, and, and um, then I mounted the clutch and got everything together. And uh, you know, I, I got it all together, put it together. And it seemed like there was just a little bit of a drag or a little bit of resistance. Well, we all know that shouldn't happen. So I figured, oh, well, maybe it'll it'll just wear in a little bit or whatever. Well, not the case. So anyway, what um, what ended up happening, and it was real sporadic. Like I'd run it, and everything would free up, and then I'd run it up and down the road a couple times and bring it back, and it was hanging up. So the clutch was hanging up inside the bell. Um, so after having the engine out of it two different times, thinking that I had it fixed the second time and everything, um, it worked great, everything was free, and then it happened again this afternoon. So, um, I really, I just couldn't figure out what else to do. I mean, if you spun the, the spur, when you pull the, the carrier off and everything, and spin the spur, the bell was running real true and everything. It wasn't bent or, you know, warped or anything like that. And uh, the, you could see the contact points on the shoes. They're grabbing just right and everything. And when you, when you pulled the bell off, um, you could look at the clutch and tell that it was completely um, disengaged or collapsed. The spring had it back into its normal position. But what I found was happening was the front of the shoes were touching um, here and there, and I don't know why, but the front of the shoes were touching the face of the clutch bell. So finally, I don't really know what else to do. You can't pull the carrier in any further than it already is. So, or the, the clutch plate rather. Um, I just finally took the shoes off and I took the two black washers out from behind the, behind the shoes, hoping that, you know, that, that would create just enough clearance that this wouldn't happen again. Um, I did do that. I loctited everything and torqued everything back down, put the car back together. Um, I'm not experiencing any issues at this point. Uh, it seems like that may have been the trick. It may have just need, needed just that little bit of clearance. I ran for about 15 minutes after I did that. Wasn't having any any issues with the with the clutch engaging or disengaging or anything. And uh, there's, you know, obviously there's no more rub on the front of the, the uh, clutch bell. So um, just letting anybody, I, I don't know if there's any other videos about this problem out there, or anybody's experienced it, but I just thought I'd share it. Um, I don't know that this is a permanent solution or whatever, but I thought I'd give it a shot and it seems to be working for me. So if you are experiencing these problems, it's something you may want to try. Um, again, I haven't ran it very long like this. So if you do, if you do this fix or quote unquote fix, um, you're doing it at your own risk. It's nothing that I recommended and said that it's dead set perfect. But anyway, I just thought I'd, I'd share this with you and uh, any questions or comments, uh, that'd be great. Thanks a lot. Have a good night.